This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Edmund Optics, where custom manufacturing is supported by a comprehensive range of measurement capabilities, including in-house laser damage threshold testing, custom-built industry-leading spectrophotometers, and aspheric stitching interferometry with less than 20 nanometers of uncertainty. Learn more at edmundoptics.com manufacturing. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy with Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. The future of military weaponry in the UK may soon be upon us, following tests of a vehicle-mounted laser that could boost the armed forces. In a collaborative venture, scientists and engineers from the UK's Defence Science and Technology Laboratory and the UK Ministry of Defence have for the first time successfully demonstrated a high-powered laser energy weapon from the top of a British Army Wolfhound armoured combat vehicle. Under the Ministry of Defense's Land Laser Directed Energy Weapon Demonstrator Program, government representatives say the test showed the laser weapon, developed by Raytheon UK to take down enemy drones, can neutralize targets more than a kilometer away. The portable system can track multiple targets too and engage and defeat those targets at the speed of light. The Ministry of Defense team says the laser setup features a command and control component and could potentially be outfitted with broader radar and surveillance systems. Conventional image sensor-based machine vision systems and their complexity tend to perform poorly in adverse lighting conditions like fog or extremely dark environments. Their fixed spectral responses and lack of adaptability to other spectral regions can hinder the safety of autonomous vehicles and mobile robotic systems. But researchers in China may have found a solution in an array of photodiodes. A team at Hong Kong Polytechnic University has designed a vision sensor composed of back-to-back -back layered photodiodes, each with distinct spectral sensitivities. The top layer is made from titanium dioxide and antimony triselenide, while the bottom features silicon and antimony triselenide. In testing their new setup, the researchers found that via the top photodiode, the vision sensor becomes sensitive to a broad visible spectrum. With the bottom photodiode, it becomes sensitive to a narrow band near infrared spectrum. The team says this combination significantly improves image quality in challenging lighting conditions without the need for additional optical accessories or complex algorithms. The new sensors show promise for many applications, from autonomous vehicles and drones to medical devices and industrial manufacturing. Titanium sapphire lasers are a powerhouse in quantum optics and in the medical realm. They're not only ultra-fast and ultra-precise, they also flaunt the largest gain bandwidth of any laser crystal. However, they're huge, complex, and super expensive to operate. But an alternative is now in the works. Researchers and engineers at Stanford University have embedded a titanium sapphire laser onto an integrated circuit that's 10,000 times smaller and 1,000 times less expensive than any other titanium sapphire laser ever built. And it can be powered via a simple green laser pointer. The chip scale laser design involves placing a bulk layer of titanium sapphire that's a few hundred nanometers thick onto a platform of silicon dioxide before moving it onto a sapphire crystal. The waveguide is patterned on top to guide light around the chip, and a microscale heater ultimately alters their refractive index and the speed of light that spreads through them. The wavelengths then become tunable within the red and infrared ranges. The team has already tested their chip scale titanium sapphire laser in quantum related experiments, and they say it could be used for medical applications like optical coherence tomography and two photon microscopy. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. And check out our Following the Photons podcast, too, to hear some really cool interviews with the industry's top players. Until next time.